Stephen Fry tells this really funny story about when he was doing the, the Harry Potter books and he was doing the early, one of the earlier books and uh, he was recording. It was all going swimmingly well. And then he came across a line and it said, Harry pocketed it. And he tried to say it and thought it would come out OK. And he stumbled on the words. He just said, Harry pocketed it. Pocketed it. So he tried again. Harry pocketed it and he couldn't say it. And he tried a few more times and the sound engineer said, no, 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 don't worry, Let, let's, let's record it in isolation. And they tried it and he kept stumbling. And so he said, look, look, this is, this is ridiculous. Why don't I just say Harry put it in his pocket, which is a good alternative. It doesn't alter the, the text in any way. So he said, what I'll do is I'll ring J.K. Rowling, have a chat to her and just say, you know, I'm just having a few problems with this. And let's uh, let's say Harry put it in his pocket. So he rang J.K. Rowling and he said, look, you know, I'm having problems saying Harry pocketed it. And um, it, I, I'm just, uh, you know, stumbling all over the place. And it's, it's becoming an issue and it shouldn't be an issue. It's just a little phrase that's all it is. So I propose, I say, Harry put it in his pocket. And J.K. Rowling said, no, I want you to say Harry pocketed it. And he said, oh, OK, right, I better do it. So he put down the phone and then he spent the next few minutes trying to say it and they did end up recording it in isolation in the end and slotting it in. And the thing is that in all the subsequent books, J.K. Rowling put in, into the, into the Harry Potter books, Harry pocketed it. So almost every book has got that in it, of course, just for Stephen Fry, because he was thinking, oh, she'll never book me again. She'll never have me again. But of course, she did. And it was just a simple line that was was wrong. And I think the the kind of lesson of this story, the moral of the tale is that you shouldn't let one line put you off. If you stumble on something, and we all do, we all stumble and fluff at times, just bear in mind that it happens to the great and the good. Even someone as experienced as Stephen Fry is going to make a mistake every now and again. And so when you make a mistake as a voiceover artist, don't worry about it. It's happened to all of us. And it's how you deal with it that's the main thing. All right, thanks for listening today. Look after your voice and see you next time.